Uh, yeah, hi. I'd like, I'd like to speak to John Campbell, please. You're speaking. Oh, hi, John Campbell. It's, uh, uh, I'm a lawyer uh, for uh, Tukuroi Rangi Morgan. Right. And uh, I'd just like to talk to you. About what, uh, what's that concerning? Uh, I'd like to talk to you about a possibility of an interview. Really? With uh, Tuku himself. Yeah? An exclusive interview with Tuku himself. So it's uh, very exclusive. We wouldn't let anyone else have it. So what, what's part of the deal with the exclusive? Um, well, if, if we're talking about an exclusive interview, there probably have to be some kind of reimbursement of some sort. Maybe some sort of 20 grand. Yeah, maybe a kind of a 20 grand, $20,000 approximately. Okay, now let me, get cash. This, let me get this straight. You'd like us to yes. pay you $20,000. That's right. We'd like you to pay us 20,000 green folding smackers there, buddy. It'll co that's what it'll cost you. It'll what? cost you 20 grand, fella. Well, I know that TVNZ have been paying money, lots of money, these state-owned broadcasters. Well, you're going to have to front up with the cash if you want to talk to Toku, mate. OK, well, I'll tell you what. Nice to talk to you. Thanks very Thanks much, Thanks for Jonah. giving me a call. Uh, next time I see you, I expect to see the cash. Yeah, OK. Thank OK, you. there. I'll try and give you a call back later. OK. OK, bye. Dig into your pockets there, fella. Don't be so stingy. Call Holmes. OK. <laughs> yeah, Holmesy? How much money you got? Happened. Well, I guess moth turns out to be a real health risk to humans. And Tuku's lawyers go searching for someone to buy his exclusive story. <laughs> ah, deal with that, Jeremy Beadle. Are you jealous? Are you jealous? Okay, here he is, the man who we managed to suck in. No, not really. John Campbell. Hello, hello, Nathan. Hello. Hey. Right. Hello. Uh, Mate, now this, this, is, look, this is one of the very nice parts of my job. Nice yep. to see you, Nathan. Nice to see you, mate. This is Justine. Justine is glorious. She is the makeup yeah. artist. Artist. Yep. And, uh, yeah, she's, but one of the nice parts of this job as, as a bloke is that you get your makeup done each night. Thank you, Justine. Each night. Oh, I get you, it once you, a week. You, you, get, you get your makeup done. That's it's fantastic. Lovely. It's right, lovely. Yes. Nathan, thanks for coming in. Yep. I'd just like to give you this. Oh, that's my check. Excellent. Thanks very much. We don't do checkbook journalism at TV3, check but I've made an exception. Out. I've made an exception. You know, I get a very similar check from TV3 <laughs> every week. 40 cents. Yes. We you think you're worth it, Nathan. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah. So, like, how did all that come out? Like, what do you do when, you, when you're in that situation? Do you, is there any sort of, do you think, gee, I shouldn't put that on, or I do, or what? Oh, we do, yeah, we discussed that. Um, uh, it was discussed at senior management level. We had yeah. two or three meetings. Lawyers were involved, and we didn't decide to run with it till after five o'clock. Yeah. And so we did. We thought about it long and hard. Yeah. The thing is, they approached us unsolicited. We didn't go out with some beguiling tones into the marketplace and try yeah. and uh, 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 you know uh, solicit the interview. They called us. Yeah. And uh, he's a politician, and the lawyer was acting on his behalf, and they're adults, and they knew what they were doing. Yeah. And we felt that it was fair to run with it. Because it's a pretty big opening opening uh, innings there for you, wasn't it? Because like you know, we had Bill Ralston, who was like you know yeah. like you, yeah. like your Buck Shelford, yeah, yeah. and you were the young Zin Zan. Yeah, yeah. You know, you need the thing under the eye. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you know, and then oh, gee, Bill's gone, and he's gone to league. Yeah, he's over gone, to, Magazines. Yeah, lovely man. And, and you sort of stepped in and you've done pretty darn well, haven't Thanks, you? Thanks, Nathan. Yeah. Well, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I'm really enjoying how it. Do you, like, how do you get to do that? What, is there like a question asking school? Uh, no. You no. Just... I, you just, I think the best thing you can do is do what you're doing now and just be very conversational and yeah. just listen hard to what the person's saying and just work off what they're saying. Okay. As long as you're researched, as yeah. long as you know roughly what issues are going to be canvassed yeah. so that you can come back with anything. Um, and then just listen to what they're saying. You've got to know your stuff. Yeah. Be prepared. Be we're, prepared. We're a woggle. You okay. Right, this is where stuff. I sit. This is where I sit. This yep. is an important thing. This is the 30 second card. Yeah. Cameron, who's filming this right now, unfortunately yep. you can't see Cameron because he's filming it, yep. films me. I have this thing in my ear. This is a little earpiece here. Or the oh, connection. that's that thing that sticks out the back of the neck. The connection to this goes down at my ear like that, around the back. And when you're doing the interview, obviously people can't tell you there's 30 seconds to go, so they hold this up. And when you get this card, that's time to start winding the interview up. Right. And you get the card, 30 seconds, and then they give you one of these signals, Come and that means there. wind, wind. OK. So this is where I sit. Yep. Wind the interview, end the interview. And uh, this is, can you see this? This screen here, you're allowed to check yourself before you go on here. That's just us. to see that your tie's straight. Woohoo! Tie's straight, hair's good. Yep. Thanks, Cameron. Now this is my favourite part of the studio. This is where Rose Daly stands. Rose Daly does the weather. Rose is glorious. And she stands here. Now, what can you see behind me, Nathan? Oh, it's a beautiful sunset. Who is that oh, sent oh, no, in by? Oh, yeah. Well, wait a sec. Well, the, yeah. But okay. the thing's blue. Go on to lose blue. the sunset. Lose the sunset. Lose. Yay! Yay! Yay!
Cool. This is what Rose every night does the weather. New Zealand is apparently behind her, and that's how it appears on the screens. But, but in no. fact, it's just a blue wall. So when Rose is pointed to Gisborne, it's not there at all. It's just some chipboard. A chipboard. A nasty, cheap piece of chipboard. Right. And we'll go over to the bench over here. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, this is where uh, Tony Johnson sits when he's here. Sure. Debbie Cronshaw was doing sport this week. I thought she did a lovely job. She was job. very good, she wasn't, was lovely, she? wasn't she? Yes. And this is where John Hawksby sits. Now, what's the deal with the bits of paper? The bits of paper are, real? are the bits of paper are real, yep. but they are only in case the auto cue goes down. Okay. So Cameron, who's filming this now, yep. films on a camera that has an auto cue, and the auto cue is. Hey, oh, there's some bits of paper there. So the bits of paper are in case your auto cue collapses. There's a script on them. Yeah. So this is a nightline one. How do we know that? Because it's got the words "Kia ora, good evening," and Leanne is the only politically correct person. <laughs> This is a bit of a sad indictment of how unad lib television is. Even the words kia ora, good evening, are scripted. Uh, written down are scripted. dot, dot, dot. And just in case we forget. Yep. Oh. So this is where we sit. So let's see Leanne's place, eh? Leanne, well, Go Leanne's, Leanne's, Leanne's over flat. here. Whoops, I don't... Oh, what are you doing there? That's an occupational oh, hazard. This is where Leanne sits. Leanne is wonderful. She sits here. You probably can't see this because we're in the dark a bit here. Right. This is the nightline set. So, in fact, all the sets are... Uh, are in the studio. It's kind of like a food hall for it news, is like isn't it? Hall, you yeah, can get your little bit of Chinese. Yeah, so, so, do you want to see where we are? Okay, I'd love to see where you guys okay. are. Well, like in relation to the news set, like TV3 is like this big TV factory. Sorry, TV3 mm. and 4 is this big TV factory. And if you come this Thanks way, very much. Come on through. See, yep. Through Excellent. this door. Excellent. Look. On Unbelievable. Air. On air. Unbelievable. This is where the kids nice are. TV. Yay. Hi, John. Yay. Yay. Welcome, come on Hello, in. Hello, Hello. Sit down. Oh, John, I have to write you a check. <laughs> That's right. Oh, we've already done Thanks that gag. Yeah, we've already done that gag. Good to so see you. Go. Go. I'd so like let's... to say now, viewers, oh. quite yep. sincerely, so. that if John Bridges is not Bachelor of the Year, I think it'll be one of the great travesties <laughs> of our times. Why, thank Clear you, John. Clear Bachelor of the Year. Dishy, dishy, well, I didn't dishy realise man. you felt that way. Dishy okay. man. Now, hang on, wait. This thing here is what we go by. I'm talking about scripts, see? And it oh, says right. here, guest IV, it's all over, B key, title. Great title. And right. coming up next, we're back on the couch with another very special guest. Was that it? Is yeah, that that's all, that's all. You're uh, out, mate. I didn't even get to ask you a question. That's all, 40 cents buys you. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Rob. <laughs> thanks very much. Thanks for being here. Thanks very much. Lovely to see you, Petra. Yeah. Yeah, yeah thank you. <laughs> I think Ice TV is really, really brilliant. Oh, well, thanks yeah, a lot. Right, a you pleasure. can come back, thanks man. Thanks very much, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, love it. We'll give you the check later. Okay. Um, the next story is about finding the perfect ball dress. Yep. So it's going shopping. Yep. And I just thought you must have been to a ball or two. Yeah, oh, when I was a lad. I'm 33 now, so it was a few years ago. A few years yes, ago. I used to ride to a ball on a penny farthing yes. when I was young. But uh, I went to a ball with a woman who looked beautiful. She was a girl, I guess she was about 16, and she looked beautiful. She had a black, I remember it vividly. So he remembers a black the dress. dress. And it took me about, only about 15 seconds to remember it. Yes, yeah, what yeah. kind of a dress was it? It was black and it was quite straight. It, 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 when I was a lad, there was quite a sort of thing for big frills and things, yeah. but this was quite understated by the standards of those times. Very classy. So you see, it is important what you wear because it can be remembered years and years Not later. Like some old fart like me. So have a look. 